Hello there. It's Monday again. Welcome. This is Vanessa Raymond with the Victory in Biz Mastermind Call. It's our accountability and success call. So we spend time every week um, really outlining our goals, being accountable for the things that we said we were going to do. And then there's always kind of a teaching moment at the end. So welcome, welcome. I want to welcome our new member, Sue Adams. We're so happy to have you here today. Hi, Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis is here. Hi there. And so I Sue- leave early, but I am here. Oh, you're here. You're here. That's all that matters. Usually- Thank you. I don't I don't really mind people popping in and, um, you know, even leaving if they have to early, I'd rather you be here for little than none. Um, so uh, please, please do show up and share. Today, I would like to talk about um, some wins. So I want to hear from you. Hi, Sarah. I want to hear from you what you have been up to and what do you consider a big win for you or a small win, any win in the last month, say? So Carol, seeing as we haven't seen you for a while, why don't you share? So um, as you know, I started the that certification thing, launched that. And then I also wanted to add the um, midwifery assistant program, which I did a, a family retreat and the training for the midwifery assistant at the same time. And, um, and that was a big win for me. All, this whole thing has been a big win. So I'm very grateful that it's been a system and the encouragement, you know, like Robert said, after university, go do it. And right. that was encouraging. Yes. You know? So exactly. anyway. very proud of you and so proud of what you've created, Carol. It's amazing. And I can't wait to uh, hear more testimonials and hear from people who's going through your program yeah so congratulations um eva do you want to share what's going on with you let's see i got my first new member sign up coming in yes um and um i had an epiphany so um you know i wrote my chapter for the book but i think I need to change it like so rewrite it this week because I'm realizing that, you know, my bread and butter is my, my network marketing business, um, um, which is weight loss, brain injury, and autoimmune. And so that wellness, so I help people build businesses, but the wellness book is coming bread and butter. That's the consumer. So I realized probably... Um, weight loss, which is not weight loss, but healthy weight management. And I'm not sure whether it should be for the aging athlete or just for the aging generation, because it's a big deal being can able to we, get weight off. Can we take a little poll here today. So if Eva writes a chapter about weight loss and health and wellness, should she do it for the aging athlete or the aging whatever the general population. So give me a hand if you think it should be for the general population. So Mike, I have a question. Who does she normally serve now? I serve both. Oh, you do? Okay. I serve a lot. I, I'm one of the few women who has, a, I have a lot of men in my organization. Right, right, men too. So who thinks she should target the aging athlete? I have a question is how much of your percentage of clients are athletes? I yeah. mean, even though it's a narrower thing, you might get more results because they, you know, do they have people to serve you that way? Um, if, I mean, what, who has, what market is being served the most, you might want to go to the market that's being served the least. The market that's being served the least is the aging athlete. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm realizing that, um, those are people that I have not touched because most of the people that I touch have health issues. And because of those health issues, they have hormone issues. And if you're, you know, over 40, you've got hormone issues. And so that's who my biggest market has been is anyone who is aging and, you know, they can't get off that belly fat. They can't, 
that's where I make my that's where I've made my money in the past. What if you have that be your market? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yep, because I, was I can say, tell you I think, being. Yeah, I think sorry, it's a ahead. very untapped market. Thank you, Kim. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay, so thank you. Ditto. Thank. Okay, so what I can say, and I'm 66. Okay, mm -hmm. and that that, and I'm doing some other stuff with a different practitioner, and I'm slimming down, and there's all kinds of great stuff going on. But there come late 50s, early 60s, weight just starts to happen. Even if you're doing a great diet, you're still to exercise. Hello. Yeah. It just, I can help you, Vanessa. So, I know. But, but, but what I'm saying is it just doesn't feel good. And no matter what we do normally, it just, and I've rebuilt my body in my life three times. Okay. So I have a lot of experience with a lot of things. And if you can help, because it's not only gaining, it's just feeling better. And to, you know, then that, and especially women that are professional, that then start to gain weight and you don't quite stand the same and you don't quite, your energy is not the same. Usually those are women that will invest and there's likely men as well. So there you go. A lot of people on my team have lost over a hundred pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and like for myself, when I had the COVID 20 and I looked in the mirror and went like, oh my God, girl, here you are selling health. And you, I didn't take the COVID 20 off because health, weight maintenance is what's important. But if you want to lose and there's weight loss, but the way I, I look at it, it's about being healthy. So I can teach you to maintain your weight or I can teach you to lose your weight. And I just have been lazy. <laughs> okay, so did that, was that helpful? Do you know if you- Yes, it did help me. It, it's like, I need to keep it broad where I was. And then the aging athletes, a different market that I need to hit with something else. Correct. That's Thank what you. I would say. Thank you, ladies. You are welcome. You are welcome. Um, welcome, Sherry and Mithika. So good to see you. Um, Sue, uh, do you want to share any of your recent wins with us? What's happening for you? I oh, can't hear you. Yeah. Um, recently, I just got a new CRM in installed, or I should say all set up for my, for those that don't know me, which most of you don't, I'm with uh, PPLSI, Legal Shield, ID Shield. I mainly work with small businesses and employee benefits. So I now have quite a few groups. So I finally am getting organized away from paper files. <laughs> Yay, organization so important for us to be productive. So that's my win. I got, I got all my, yeah. I have all my clients in, so now I can start the process of communicating the, that way. Fantastic, thank you, Sue. Thanks for sharing, thank yes. You. Awesome. Organization is huge. It's everything, actually. <laughs> Phyllis, you're up next, girl. All right. This has been a great month. So um, lots of great new members um, for Achieve, including the amazing Sue. You got to get to know her. She is one of my uh, dear friends and, and power partners. And um, then we, we have our first chapter signed up for the event systems, which I'm going to be doing all over the country and world. And um, for my other business, which is my, um, my main business, my Monate business, um, signed up an ethnic salon in Colorado um, the end of last month. And then I just got back from a meeting today about signing up another salon uh, that does all sorts of hair. So we're coming out of COVID. It's really good. As many salons as I can possibly get. I've got 30 in the Chicagoland area and really want to bring this to 
Colorado because I have an 11 year ovarian cancer surviving um, hairstylist whose oncologist said she got it from using the quote unquote professional salon products. So um, I'm on a mission to clean up those salons and it's uh, picking up momentum. Super, super amazing. Thank you, Phyllis. And congratulations on that first uh, event systems chapter. Yay. And we're going to build a bunch of those. Remember to reach out to Phyllis if you want to start your own event systems, guys. All right. Thank you, uh, Phyllis. Sarah, my love. Good to see you. Phyllis, can you share where the chapter is or not yet? Uh, Los Angeles. And then we have one that um, actually a, a second one in um, Fairview, Missouri. Nice. Very cool. Awesome. Sarah. It has been a tremendous summer. Um, I head back into teaching in my regular classroom next week. So coming on Mondays is going to be a little bit different. However, uh, my intention this summer was to get everything organized and put together and filmed and all those things for an affiliate. And Craig T has the link and feel really good about that. And um, what I'm working on this week is the one minute, it's a minute and a half video to get it up on, uh, on Google. And so um, good things are happening. And I really appreciate this Monday group. It's a great way to start the week. Well, thank you, Sarah. And I looked at your landing page. I love it. Everything's looking gorgeous and very easy to navigate. Looking great. Looking great. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Sherry. Hi, Sherry. So we are sharing um, any of our wins that we've had in the last few weeks or month or so. Um, you're still muted. If you can unmute yourself. Let me see if I can unmute you. It's all the way on the bottom. Oh, no, just got to find the button. <laughs> okay. So share with us what's going on with you and your business. What's happening? Well, I um, decided to really commit. Um, just the last couple of months, it's been very difficult with having the kids and, and all the other things that are going on. But I said, I've got to do something or I have to get a J-O-B. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so... I've started going down to the farmer's market. I have a regular booth there every Wednesday, um, starting to get some um, regulars, you know, who are, re you know, recognizing me. And then <clears throat> I did a Christmas in July um, thing at the mall as well, and actually had someone who said, hey, aren't you the lady at the farmer's market? So that, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, awesome. <laughs> But um, Progress. yeah, so I've committed to doing that and, you know, I'm not seeing a whole lot yet, but it's getting, it's creating that um, familiarity, I think, in the community. So, so, so great to show you, uh, to be recognized and show you your face. Yes, Phyllis. Yeah. I something? don't know you, Sherry. I may have met you at the conference, but I, can you tell me what you do? Um, I do New Age. It's uh, health and wellness products. Perfect. Yep. Same as uh, Eva here. All right. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. And thanks for asking, Phyllis. I sometimes yeah. forget who you know and who you don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your face is familiar. I know that we met, but I don't know you. Yeah. Actually, Mr. Seaforth Alive, I would love for you to introduce yourself to our family here. Um, they don't know you. Most of them don't. Okay. Hi. I'm David Pike. I'm with uh, Seaforth. We are a um, online uh, marketplace, and Phyllis was very kind enough to bring me in to achieve. And so I would like to say, uh, yeah, a couple of people I know here. This is really cool. So um, I'm happy to be here. I'm very excited to see how I can serve, help everybody else, and let you all know what I could do for you uh, in several fronts. Um, one is. Um, I'm a branding and uh, advertising design expert. So if you want to consult about talking about your brand or anything like that, I'm happy to help you. Uh, the other thing with Seaforth, what we do is we have an online marketplace and we can give discounts on travel and uh, some other business uh, attributes that I think are important to folks. Um, and then also um, I've written a children's book, which I'm hoping to get published. And I've also written several books on for Alzheimer's patients on memory and things like that. So 
Uh, I'm here to explore uh, what you all do and how I can best serve you. And maybe um, there's things you can help me with as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, David. You didn't tell me about your books. So see, just learned something new also. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Um, do you have any recent wins you would like to share with the group? Um, We're just celebrating right now. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. In, in our group Seaforth, it's, um, it's, uh, we've had several wins. Um, one of the wins are we uh, secured a, a gentleman named Neil McDonough, who was a world famous actor out of Hollywood, California, who is now our um, corporate social responsibility advocate and our brand ambassador. Um, you may have seen him on Yellowstone. If you watch Yellowstone with Kevin Costner and he was in Star Trek First Contact and several other things. And we're also working with the Gromans Chinese Theater. So those are big wins for our company, as well as the release of some brand new products that are coming out this week. Very happy. Fantastic. Yay. Well, and he, please, you guys make it your business to reach out to David and have a chat with him. He's really fun to talk to you and he's got some great stuff going on, which can be very helpful for you in your business. Mythica, my love. Hello. You've been busy, Hello. busy, busy. I have been busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, bee. Do you want to share uh, a recent win with us, please? What's going on for you? Yeah, well, um, I've been, um, uh, my friend Carly makes uh, paint pours. And um, so I started doing paint pours but doing i got the inspiration to do crystal grids on them so how can i change? i've been looking at those you've been posting some of them they're so, so here's here's some of the ones um just to give you an idea so you you take a paint pour like this and then you put uh something that uh, a design something that can go with it on top and then you do a crystal grid on top and then i do um resin pour which really pops the paintings so like with this one i'm going to be doing this because i think that goes really well beautiful yes and um you know so each one has um different energy and properties and things that look good on it and um like i just uh i just sold one for 333 dollars Wow, yes, that's wonderful. Good go, girl. Awesome. Yeah. I and love your stuff. I never make it through a conference without getting a necklace or something, a prism necklace. Yep. And then uh, right now, so uh, we're leaving for um, the Idaho uh, Halloween and Horror Convention that is next weekend. And I'm on the board of directors. And um, so I'm one of the staff as well as guests for the con. So I'll be doing that. And then um, these are, this is a skull three, there's three little baby skull molds. And then there's, there's this really ornate one. That's what I've been doing while I've been talking with you. And um, so I'm pouring and doing things, but uh, um, that's going really well. I've been going to this event that I've become, uh, Julie and I have been really entrenched with. It's called the Blessed Bacchanal, which is a biweekly event that is both um, in Littleton and they also have, they're doing the Bacchanal Bazaar down in Colorado Springs. And so we've been participating in that and doing organite massage and face painting. And um, that's going really well. Uh, and then I'll be just traveling like crazy. So next month we're going to Arizona. The month after that, I'm going to Australia with Julie because we're going um, to be getting uh, a uh, NLP certification that we paid pre-COVID. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Uh, well, fantastic. Yeah, well, well, lots of stuff going on. Lots, lots of stuff going on. on. You keep moving forward, up, onward and upward. And we look forward to seeing you at the conference in October. It sounds uh, like next time I'll yes. see you. <laughs> yes. It sounds like the next time I'll see you. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here today and sharing. I'll be yeah. ready to shop. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh well, my actually, gosh. The crystal grids are so amazing. I can't even begin to tell you. 
we're excited. I, I, I can't wait to see them in person, my love. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Mithika. Last you. but not least, my lovely Kim, we'd love for you to share a recent win. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to see those of you I haven't seen in a while and those of you that are regular. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Sarah, who took her time. I'm doing my best to grow my YouTube channel. Um, so my video, and I'll pop a few links in the chat. So I have over 200, um, uh, what do you call them? Members or whatever. Um, and I'd love to get the goal is a thousand so I can monetize. And um, Sarah went ahead and, and viewed and subscribed. There we go, subscribers. Uh, being four, I performed that piece that I wrote at the Peace Alliance Conference in Washington. And um, so there's, over am heading toward 1900 views and you were made for these times is at 4,200 plus now. So it's growing toward 5,000, which is amazing. And um, it, uh, yeah, 20 to 100 views a week without me doing anything. So people are sharing, it's just a remarkable learning and becoming for me. So there's that, I'll post some links. If you like what you see, please subscribe, pass it on. That would be phenomenal. Um, then the trade shows that I'm doing, um, they're, they're more successful than they've ever been. Um, so it's, uh, it's remarkable that way and the connections and other things. I go where I'm trying to go not only for financial, but I'm just supposed to be there kind of thing. And the, the connections are remarkable. Um, I'm being asked, and that's a consideration that I'm doing, um, Leah Renee of Rising Harmonics. I utilize her studio, which she has a phenomenal way, a gifted way of creating ambiance. And um, so I've, you know, um, how many clients do I want to commit to a month or be okay to just because my life is very busy and I love seeing clients and there's a lot of success, um, but I don't want to be, that's not where I want to have my life. So that's in process. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm working with Craig um, and I've got a Qigong master that lives in Crestone that we just happened to connect. Um, so I will be expanding that way as well. Fabulous. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Lots going on. Everyone has so much going on and I'm so proud of you all. I just love hearing all the wins. I know we didn't share goals today. We will do that again next week. Uh, before I go on to our, um, I want to talk about quick ways to inject some cash into your business. I have three um, three tips or, or three ways that you can do that. But does anyone have any questions um, that they want to pose to me or the group before I go into that? Any questions? No questions. All right. So Vanessa's teaching moment. <laughs> so I want to talk about some strategies for cash injection into your business. Um, and I have three, there's lots but I picked out three because I thought these were the three that were like really most attainable for you guys at this point. So, you know, every now and again, it's good to kind of go and look, what do you have lying around on the shelf or that unique that you can dust off something you might've sold a long time ago or something that's not your high ticket offer and you can run a sale, right? So, um, do you have something sitting that you haven't sold for a while or that people don't even know you have? Um, run a sale. And, and you can find any kind of excuse to run a sale, right? So I'm like, oh, it's Rob's birthday tomorrow, by the way, everybody. Uh, maybe I can run a sale in lieu of Rob's birthday. So there's always ways or things you can think of to celebrate and to run a sale. Now, when it comes to like... Um, some do's and don'ts of running a sale. I'm never a fan of you discounting any of your high ticket offers or your flagship programs, right? Because we offer a ton of value. And um, so definitely when you do a sale, do it with something that maybe your we all have newer audiences, right? And we have older audiences. Maybe your new audience has never seen this part of you or they don't know that you have this product available. And then, you know, just, just find a, 
a price that is digestible, but that is still high value, right? And then you can run social media campaigns or you can send out an email campaign or you can do a podcast campaign, you know, whatever it is, the, the channels that you use to market through run a sale. Okay, so that's number one. That's one great way to kind of inject some cash into your business very quickly and right away. Number two, bring out those VIP days, you guys, or those private one-on-one -on -one days. Um, if you have never done that, it's really something I would suggest you structure for your business because it's amazing what people would invest to get one-on-one, -on -one, substantial one-on-one -on -one time with you. But it's very important also that this one-on-one -on -one day really offers great value, right? You got to make sure that whatever you do for a VIP day, you want to make sure it's totally worth it for those people. So this is usually your highest price ticket offer. Uh, but you might not have offered it in a while. So, you know, as Lila always says, how can people buy from you if you don't offer, right? So a lot of people don't know what we have available. Don't be scared to put it out there. Of course, we're not wanting to hard sell anybody. But when it comes to these high ticket offers or VIP days, find your, your most devoted devoted clients, find those people who are your followers that you know are following you and reach out to them by a messenger or a phone call or a, a private message and let them know you have this available for them. Okay. And so um, here's a little example of what that would look like, right? So for these high ticket VIP offers, I would reach out to some of my uh, clients that I know are really following me and really always around and want to know more or, or can really use my help. And so I'll just send them a quick message. And it's as simple as saying, you know, um, I have two openings for a private one-on-one -on -one starting on this date. If you want ABC, um, XYZ results in your business, hit reply, send me a private me message and we'll schedule and discuss. So you keep it short keep it sweet. And also, you know, just look at what you have available time wise. So you don't, um, so you don't also sell time that you don't have. Okay. I don't know what I just did. I just did something on my screen here. I lost you all. All right. So in number three, the last thing is go back to your regular vendors, right? Um, like your credit card merchant fee company or um, your um, email list company or and go or your payroll company once a year go and renegotiate with them do some market research look at what the going rate is and then have a conversation with them because you are earning money for them, right? They want to keep you as a customer. Um, I do this with my, son, my cell phone yearly too because and the cable company, right? But the, the things in your business that are costing you money, look at those and see where you can save money, right? And, and once a year, Rob and I go and we renegotiate these things because if your business is growing and you're bringing more business to these merchants or these people, these vendors, they will be willing to work with you to make it a, a good situation for both of you. And remember, not spending money on things that grow your business is the same as making money, right? So that is my three tips for today. So those are three things you can think about. If you want to do a quick cash injection in your business, those are some things. Bye, Phyllis. We'll see you, honey. Um, we, but uh, so let me know if you have any questions about any of those. If you want more information, you want to know how to do something. But um, I just wanted to put that out there for you guys here in the last uh, few months of the year. I can't even believe it's already August, but <laughs> here in the last few months of the year. Uh, look at those things. And um, if you need money to reinvest in your business or you need money for something special, those are ways you can get there. 
All right. So thank you so much, all of you, for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday again. Thank you, guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you. Beautiful week. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good to see you, David. Welcome. Thanks, Mathika. Bye, Sherry. Bye, Sue. I don't know if I can be on next Monday because we will be driving back from Idaho. So oh, good, honey, you just come when you can. Got it. I, I do. I, I do. know you do. Love, Love you. you. Okay. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye, Sue.